ladies and gentlemen. Malaysia is keenly aware of the many false roles of parties in addressing and responding to climate change. And as part of the holistic approach to implementing sustainable development in Malaysia. First and foremost, forests and trees play an essential role in reducing the impact of extreme weather events. Trees intercept and detain rainfall, which serves to prevent and to reduce floods. They also reduce the impact of storm by serving as wind breakers. On the ground, forest trees, roots, and litter serve to stabilize and protect soils from erosion. This role contributes to protecting stream river water quality as well as the integrity of our drainage system. In coastal areas, mangrove and other coastal forests reduce shoreline erosion and the impact of storm surges. Forests play key roles in sequestering greenhouse gases. In healthy forest ecosystems sequester copious amount of greenhouse gases and serve as long-term sink for these emissions. As reported in Malaysia Internal Biennial Update Report, sequestration by the forest in Malaysia in 2011 totaling more than 262 million tons, offset more than 90% of Malaysia's 290 million tons of emissions. Finally, forests provide a host of ecosystem services and serve as habitat for Malaysia's mega biodiversities, flora and fauna, and play a role in bio remediation. Malaysia's record a long-term forest management and conservation. At the Rio Summit in 1992, Malaysia's made a pledge to keep at least half of its land area under forest and green cover. 24 years later, I'm pleased to inform you that Malaysia has delivered fully on this pledge. The complete time series of Malaysia's forest cover from 1990 to the most recent confirmed data of 2014 is transparently reported through website of the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment, Malaysia. Malaysia's natural forest cover as of 2014 stands at 18.27 million hectares, or 55.23% of Malaysia's total land area. Malaysia's continue to practice sustainable forest management on both its production and protection of forests, promote independence, third-party certification to ensure sustainability, Furthermore, Malaysia continues to identify strategic areas for gazettement as permanent forests under the Central Forest Fines in the Peninsula of Malaysia and the Heart of Borneo Initiative together with Brunei, Indonesia in the Borneo. In this way, Malaysia hopes to enhance forest conservation and strengthen connectivity between forests Malaysia's interest in implementing REDDs plus, RED plus. Honorable, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are well acquainted with the fact and retaining land as forest has high opportunity costs. There is always pressure from interested party to convert forests to other land use that could generate long-term economic activities. For this reason, Malaysia regarded the international support for forests as vital and has implemented RED+. 
plus to gain access to payment for result-based action. To this end, Malaysia has submitted its forest reference level for sustainable management of forests and has successfully completed the technical assessment process that followed. Continuing on the path toward RED Plus implementation, Malaysia is included as part of its initial biennial update report, a technical index, annex containing detailed policy information and clear removal and uptake data with view of securing payment for result-based action in accordance with the decision of the 14 CAP.19 of the UNFCCC, United Nations Framework Convention for Climate Change. Earlier this year, Malaysia completed the initial hub of international consultation analysis procedure, which include technical analysis of the above aforementioned RED plus technical annex. In terms of the final readiness to implement RED plus, Malaysia has implemented a national forest monitoring system and is advanced stage of preparing its safeguard information system and its national RED plus strategy. Finally, Malaysia wait for the Green Climate Fund and Red Plus guidelines that are due to be out in October of this year. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Conclu to conclude, Malaysia values its forest highly and moving from regarding forest as commodity to regarding it as a natural capital. As an integral component of sustainability, as a rich, renewable biobank and natural resources, our forests are also essential backdrop for all the mitigation action that we are implementing in the energy, industrial process, agriculture, and waste management sector. Additionally, forests help community adapt to the impact of climate change in implementing Red Plus will help Malaysia achieve its ambition forest management agenda and obtaining red financing under the Green Climate Fund and bilateral sources which will make this ambition a reality. At Honourable Minister, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.